well, the magical, marvelous, magnificent, and mercurial. Ah. There's a new one. Mara continues to deliver, and we, with one of the Angama lionesses, who's battling uh, the biting flies that are all around. Fortunately for us, uh, the wind is keeping them away, and I don't think we're quite as smelly as she is. So the flies keep going to her. Remember, this is 100% live from the magical Masai Mara in Kenya, and we are waiting with bated breath to, for a question from you, and if you want to send us a question, use the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I'm just having a quick peruse around. Oh, those flies are getting very irritating, poor girl. You bite them, bite them. There we go, James, Siggy, and oh, I can't remember who else was that one. I'll find out now. Uh, we got Mystical. M oh no, I've I've gone completely blank. Sorry, could you please repeat? That was my that was me. I was distracted by what I thought was a vulture. Mystical, monumental, and mesmerizing. All really great ones, and, and that is wonderful. Keep them coming. Uh, I'm going to let Jamie be the judge today. Uh, so you can decide out of all the words we hear which <laughs> M is the best to suit the marvelous Mara. And as I said, remember, this is 100% live. You are seeing these incredible animals at the same time as we are. And it is just such an absolute privilege to be able to share the magical parts of Africa uh, with you. Well, that was horrible English, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is wondering, do lions normally stay in op open areas? Well, Dave, it all depends on where you are in Africa. And being in the Maasai Mara, it is very open, so they don't have much of a choice. <laughs> uh, but the lions are, are able to, to adapt to different, different ecosystems. Uh, they live pretty much can live pretty much everywhere except in uh, the the driest of the dry deserts and uh, the wettest of the wet rainforest uh, but they do prefer sort of savanna is their sort of favorite biome so that is open grass and mixed with mixed trees which the mara is pretty much spot on prime lion habitat and uh, just in the triangle there's probably Mm. I, we were trying to do the numbers of how many Mar lions were in the in the Mara Triangle alone, and I'm, I, I would say there are probably over a hundred lions in just in the triangle, not in even the whole national reserve and, and the conservancies. Now Rakesh is trying is asking, uh, do lions climb trees here? They do indeed. We often find this particular pride up a tree. I found or seven of them up a tree once. Well two adults and the rest were cubs and the reason for that is that there's a slightly stronger wind if you get a little bit higher and uh, they get up there to try avoid the nasty stable flies that are biting her ears her tails and her soft bits now she's looking at a cross and I can see I think there's another line sighting not too far from us I'm wondering if it's one of the big boys that dominate this area so we are going to go have a look there a little later and we might pop past her but I think uh, she's not going to get moving just yet hopefully she proves me wrong uh, that would be very very wonderful but as, uh, as I say that she closes her eyes as I said I don't think she's going to move but prove me wrong and you might hear some thunder in the background. And as uh, what happens, uh, there we go, she heard the thunder. Now that could help aid her in hunting. That is great hunting weather for lions. Uh, thunder and lightning and rain and wind. It helps camouflage the sound of them approaching. And also the wind keeps the, the animals edgy and jumpy and they're not quite sure where the smells and sounds are coming from. Now. We're hoping that this big storm stays away for the, the rest of the safari. We will give you a view of it a little later. But we're going to do some more driving, uh, see if there are any more lions about. And while we do that, let's go to Ali, who's also practicing her driving. <laughs> 